hi there in this video we are going to continue from where we stopped yesterday and um, we are working with this veggies table and the columns we have are categories items variety date price and units so if i turn this into an excel table um, I would, to, to turn it, I would first ensure that there are no space in between the values. Uh, you could see there are no space. And if there are, then we could find a way to deal with that. So just ensure that this has no space in between. There are no space in between because Excel is going to create a table around this shape from top to bottom. So after you ensure that there are no space, you can ensure, you can just click in between any part of your data, come right here to insert, and then click on table. So my table has headers, just gonna click OK. And now this is an Excel table. So we can now see the category that we have cut flowers, fruit, pot plants, veggies. Then we have the item that fall under each of these categories. We have the variety that fall under each of those items. Then we have the date that they were bought. You can see the date spans from 2017 to 2024. Then we have the price of each of this item and the kg in which uh, this price is attributed to so what i want to do is to use my excel formula just going to change this to um just um, let's see plants and fruits or something plants and veggies Plants, everything is big, like plants, right? So I'm just going to leave that plants. So um, the next thing I want to do is to use my functions to derive the sum of each of these category. So you can see now that I have cuts, flowers, fruits, pot plants, and veggies. So I'm just going to copy each of those. I'm just going to say fruits. I'm just going to paste it right here. Veggies, I'm just gonna paste it right here also. Cut flowers, I'm just gonna paste this right here. And the last one is, um, let me see what else have we got. Pot plants, okay. So we have pot plants. Okay, doesn't look anywhere close. Just going to oh I um check that. Okay, I'm just gonna say pot plants. Just gonna copy this and then so what I want to do is that I want to know the number of fruits that we have, the number of all of those things. I'm just gonna say count. Say price. So we want to count the price. We want to count the number of these fruits that we have in this table. Then we also want to count the price. We want to sum the price up so we can know how much we're generating from each of this. I'm going to say equals and count B. So what do I want to count? I want to count this range right here, comma, now what criteria do I want to count? I want to count just the fruits. I'm just going to close this and use enter. So the fruit has 2,913 entries, right? And that is after I must have ensured that the fruit does not have duplicate, for example, 
what I mean by duplicate is that this is not wrongly spelt. If this is wrongly spelt, then you're going to see fruits like fill and then fruits, right? So if once you've ensured that you don't have wrongly spelled words, then the value should be correct. So if I want to do that for veggies, I'm just going to say equal to again. So it's going to zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing. So we go to count if. Of course, we have count ifs too. If you want to count um multiple conditions, I'm gonna show you how that works now. So I'm gonna say vegetable. I mean count ifs. The range I want to count. That's the range where I can find this vegetable. Is this first column right here, which is column A. So you can see now that it's highlighting the entire column so from a1 to a infinity but if you wanted it to stop at maybe a20 you can always hold shift and then wherever you want it to stop so you now see it's a1 to a20 but if you want it to capture the entire thing just click a comma then what am i counting what criteria do i want to use is vegetable so i'm just going to close this and enter so vegetable has 10,393 um, so you can also fill this and when you check you see that everything still looks good so a a a one three so but if you still do the manual check you still have the same result so if you wanted to check the price of the fruit, then it should be equal to sum because we want to sum it up this time. Sum if the range where I want to sum, which is this category right here, comma the criteria I want to sum, which is this fruit right here, comma the sum I want to sum up, which is this price right here. Because this is a categorical data, I can't sum up with categorical data. So I can only sum up this price data. So I'm just going to close this and then hit enter. So I've generated 7,451 pounds 43 pence from this fruit. So if I want to calculate for veggies, I'm just going to do the same or I could just also fill this down. So let's see if we get the same result. I'm just going to undo this and do equal to sum if my range is here, comma, my criteria is edges, comma, my sum range is this guy right here. So I'm just going to close this and hit enter. So you see, we, we still get the same value. So I'm just going to also fill this down and I still have the same result. So uh, if you could try that for, um, if you wanted to be specific for a particular item, let's say um, fruit and pears or fruit and apples and something like that. So to do that, let's say I wanted to check fruits and uh, I'm just going to say fruits. And I also wanted to check for um, fruits and then the item is pears. I'm just going to say pears this way. So I want to count the number of fruits that is pears. So to do that, I'm, I want to use multiple conditions. So to do that, I'm going to say count ifs this time. So the criteria range one is the category, right? Come on. The criteria one is fruit because I want to count if the fruit is peers. Comma. Then the criteria range two is my item. Comma. Then the criteria two is peers. So it's going to count all fruits that are peers. Then that's all. If I had more than two conditions I wanted to check, then I can fill that up. So this shows that I have 438 peers under the category of fruits.
So you might want to try out for other ones. And for here's I have all for use. And um, the products we have there. I have Apple. Just gonna click through it below and see what category we have there. This one is just okay. We have blackberries also. We have raspberry. So if we could just do for this ones, blackberries and um. So just do fruits and these other ones. Okay, then try out the ones for vegetables too. Just try to do three of those and uh, let's see if you're able to pick that up. So uh, that'll be all for this particular lesson. I'll see you in the next class.